745. Wow. Go to wake up the seagulls. It's your time. Hammer my time and a shot of a bird. Let's break. Right? Let's be my lucky day. Fun fact Thor has how many tattoos of birds on your body? Uh, two so Dang. far. Thank you for that. We share the love of birds. <laughs> okay, hammer time. Let's All do right. it. Chappie is the first one we're talking about. We are both lovers of science fiction. Neil Blomkamp, a name you've heard by uh, numerous uh, movies, with including uh, District 9, Elysium, he's back. With a similarly themed one, this one is all about artificial intelligence. Johannesburg is the setting once again. And a militarized robotic police force is clamping down on crime. But a um, robot gets reprogrammed, and he becomes sentient. Ooh, scary. Take a look. I brought you into this world. A machine that can think and feel. That's it. Come. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> That's a watch. That's a watch. Watch. <laughs> Like that. that scene's great. I mean, the Chappie, when he starts learning things, he's got this childlike innocence about him, and he gets taken in by these gangsters. So they, they are kind of training him uh, to be sort of a rogue human. Uh, so there's a lot of things I liked about the movie uh, when it came to the stark imagery and the real emotion of the robot and the way it turned its tables on, you know, an artificial intelligence uh, sort of having feelings and being self-aware and things like that. But, Jody, there are also a lot of problems with this film in the familiarity. It was very derivative of not only Blomkamp's earlier film, but things like Wall-E, Short Circuit, Robocop. And the ending, I thought, really fell apart. So it had this great setup. You were compelled by these characters and who Chappie was. And then it kind of descended into this sort of video game style climax with a lot of shoot 'em up stuff that actually was a lot more like Robocop than uh, those other ones I mentioned. Hmm. But it's an interesting ride. It, it does sort of examine some themes very well. And uh, Hugh Jackman plays a bad guy, so that's uh, interesting to watch. And Charlotte Copley, who was in District 9, does the motion capture for the robot and the voice. So I thought he brought brought a lot of humanity and emotion to the role, uh, but it, it's sort of, uh, it's not a great film because it just felt like I'd been down that road so many times before. I was feeling the Wally right off the top. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Okay, so how many? I'm going to have to go three out of five. Yeah. Also, it's got a great soundtrack from Hans Zimmer with a basically all electronic musical score. So that, really? that's a notch for it as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. In the theaters or wait for it? You know, you might want to see this one in the theaters. It's one of those kind of visual uh, aesthetic movies that uh, you'd appreciate on a big screen. All right, how about Elephant Th Elephant? Song. All right, well, if sci-fi big budget isn't your thing, Elephant Song might be right up your alley. And this stars Xavier Dolan, who is uh, Xavier Dolan, who is basically the uh, wunderkind right now of Canadian cinema, the director of Mommy. He stars in this one as a mental patient in 1966, and he's being questioned by Bruce Greenwood because a resident doctor has gone missing, and the last guy to uh, basically see him was this patient. So uh, Greenwood's trying to sort of uh, get inside his head and figure out if he knows anything about this doctor's disappearance. A real throwback movie, sort of reminiscent of like a Hitchcock kind of film, mm. very well written, and you can see this kind of stark contrast with the with the setting and that kind of thing. Really gets inside your head. A psychological cat and mouse game. I felt the ending wasn't really worth all the sort of mind games, and it built it up a little bit too much. So I was a little bit disappointed about where it went. But an original story. Uh, it's based on a uh, very popular play, and it's got some great acting from Catherine Keener there as a sympathetic nurse. I always love Bruce Greenwood. Xavier Dolan is a tremendous director and actor here, and there's also a great role from Carrie Ann Moss. So all in all, I. Can recommend this film. It did have its flaws. Uh, it wasn't completely sort of uh, you know anything groundbreaking, uh, but there was enough to enjoy here to recommend. All right, and you recommended by way of three out of five. Three out of five. There okay, a couple yeah. of middle of the road to the upper end. Exactly. Nice. Thank you for that. So Chappie, yes. An elephant song, yes. Mm -hmm. With provisos. Uh, with, of course. <laughs> Not all of us can be as savvy as you. I'll just go to the movie and take it in. Yeah. 